from Universal Studios Japan. I'm going to give you a full tour of the Jurassic Park area that they have here in the park. Now that the sun is setting, it's the best time to check it out. And here we start at the entrance. The coaster track is for the Flying Dinosaur, which is the world's longest hanging coaster. Unfortunately, you have nets in the way though, because of that. As we begin to walk through the archway, you've got two restaurants on your right and left. Now to the right, you have the Lost World restaurant. Here's a look from the side. Here is the front of the restaurant. We'll go in and take a look. Here's the main menu. They have three different types of sandwiches and a few desserts. Here's a better picture of the sandwiches. You have pork in the back, fried chicken in the middle, and steak on the bottom. Here's a look inside the Lost World restaurant. It looks very similar to the Thunder Falls Terrace at Anzo Adventure. Here's the fried chicken sandwich with basil mayo. It looks like, oh, there's a little bit of green stuff in there, so it's healthy. Stepping back from the Lost World restaurant, to the right of that, you have a kiosk, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And to the right of that, you have the Discovery Restaurant. The area I was just standing is where they have a show where they will bring out dinosaurs. They have a baby triceratops, an adult triceratops, a raptor, and a stegosaurus, so a lot to see. Looking back at the kiosk here, always seems to have a line no matter what time of day. They offer black pepper, pork ribs, sounds pretty good, but then they have a Jurassic churro. The Discovery Restaurant has these different bowls, which all look really good, haven't eaten there yet. Should be fairly obvious. Here's a look at the Discovery Restaurant, which is currently closed. Here's a look inside through the door. See, they have a fossil in the middle and a nice view of the rest of the park on the opposite side. Here's a few more of what they have to offer at the Discovery Restaurant. To the right of the Discovery Restaurant is where you continue on through the land. However, we're gonna stop and go over here. Over at this little outcropping is a great viewpoint for the flying dinosaur and Jurassic Park the ride. As we continue along, to the right you have the Jurassic Outfitters and Splashdown Snacks and another viewing point for the ride. Now from this viewing point, if you look down, you'll see there's some water so you may get wet. At the very least, some water mist. Come to Splashdown Snacks for turkey legs and beer. The side entrance for Jurassic Outfitters is pretty cool because they have a T-Rex head over there. Let's take a look inside. They have Jurassic World eggs with little chocolate things in it. And then you have these. I'm not sure what it is. For 1400 yen, you can get a Jurassic World tin with cookies in it. Here's a quick panning view of inside the store. A lot of the theming is really incredible when you look up. The other corner of the store is the exit for Jurassic Park The Ride. Be sure not to miss the penny machine if you're into it. I'm actually going to try this out because I'm very interested to see if it actually uses pennies because you pay in 100 yen coins. We're going to go with this design here, which is a T-Rex. No, it's just a blank piece of copper to replicate a penny. And there it is. Here's some of the cool Universal Japan unique things for Jurassic Park. You've got the nano blocks for the globe, but you've got the park entrance. By far the coolest thing in this store is this animatronic raptor they have in the corner. I always check on it because it's amazing. We just stepped outside of the main entrance for Jurassic Outfitters. And now we're going to go to the left and continue along for the air. You'll see the flying dinosaur dropping. And there they go. On the left you'll have fossil fuels. I just love pointing out this sign because this is great. Now this restaurant has been closed for a while, but here's a look at what they've got, mainly soft serve and other desserts. If you look down from where you order, to the right, you've got some awesome waterfront seating, which actually wraps around. However, it is closed off at the moment because the restaurant's closed. Next up is Jurassic Park The Ride, which will be on the right. But first, let's take a look to the left. Here you will find a very nice viewpoint for the whole park. And that's the other side of that outside seating for fossil fuels. You've got two vending machines over here, and to the right of that, the flying dinosaur. The flying dinosaur always has long wait times. Even this late at night, it's still 60 minutes 
Singles are currently turned off at the moment. Same with Jurassic Park The Ride. It offers single rider, currently closed. Here's some information on the flying dinosaur. It is actually a pretty intense coaster. Continuing along, you can see them going up. Just in time too, as it's getting too dark for my camera, as soon as you take this left, you cross the bridge into the San Francisco area. All right, that is going to do it for this quick walkthrough tour of everything they have to offer in the Jurassic Park area at Universal Studios Japan. Now, unfortunately, Universal has a pretty strict no filming on ride policy, so I won't be showing any of that footage. Uh, hopefully you got a good idea of what it's like, though, and can see that it's actually a pretty cool place. So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.